Future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the Frisco Rough Riders and the Amarillo Sod Poodle. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. Gilbert, the southpaw out of the Golden State, gets the call here. Dan, any thoughts? Well, this guy certainly could be one of those. Hey, here we go. So now here is Jack Savage looking to put them ahead early yeah. with this at bat. Savage. That boy. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. High and deep to left center field. Looking up is the left fielder. Draw! So a three-run shot to left center. Home run number three here in the early going as it's now a three-nothing ball game. Yeah, he's looked pretty shaky from the first pitch and things just kind of spiraled out of control from there. I think these guys smell blood in the water and they punctuate it. Now it'll be Monty Schroeder. Bases are empty, one man out. Monty. This one's down to third. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now to bat, Ian Mills. That is seven. The third baseman, Ian Mills. Set and the 1 1 pitch. That's a strike to throw down. Not in time as he steals second. We all know this team is struggling. So now into the box is Jack Savage. Yeah. And we'll see what he can do here after going deep his first time up. Softly hit down to third. Like well, run, it, run it, run it, run it, run it, run it. second for one. Stepping in once again is Jack Savage. Comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls and a strike. And he pops him up back behind second base. Schroeder ranges back and he has it for route number two. Jack Savage will stand in, and as he does, we'll flash you back to the first inning of the ball game. A three-run shot had him off and running right out of the game. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1, but now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. A swing and a shot hit down the corner, and nearly a three run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. His heart sank right there when that ball met the bat, but just had him out front just enough to give him another shot at potentially putting him away. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat and trying to protect the pull the ball. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Andy Yerzy. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the night. Now a swing and he pops him up. And this should do it. He brings it in, and they have claimed the fourth consecutive victory here as this ball game is over. Well, these guys feel pretty good about themselves, and they should. Anytime you can come into somebody else's ballpark and sweep a three-game tilt, you're doing something right. Great team effort. Eight to three is two.
just letting it go. I'd have been wrong before, but the fact it wasn't that long ago. I even hit the bottom lower, that was just part of my growth. My heart's always broken, I guess I'm starting over. And now my battered soul is going back through the motions. I'm just half of a hole, once I had no control, I was breaking my own. Minor League Baseball now on the show as our coverage comes to you from the Double A Central. Tonight, the opener of a three game series between the Frisco Rough Riders and the Wichita Wind Surge. Jesus Lebronzo, a right handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What do we need to know here, Danny? One of the things that jumps out if you look at that stat sheet a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job. Keep traffic off the bases. Keep the walks down. Try to limit the amount of hits. He's had a rough goal that so far this year. Now into the box. Jack Savage. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. He's set. Here it comes. Line drive to left. Castro able to track it down for the third out. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. And now, Jack Savage. Now bat it. The third base. Got it. No one bat it. Go. Savage. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. High in the air out to center field. And this will be hauled in shy of the track for out number one as the runner will retreat to first. Now with the plate is Jack Savage. He flew out in his last debut. From the stretch. Reaches out, but he can't get it. It's nothing in one. Swing and a miss on a nasty slider right there. Always felt toughest pitch in the game. If you're a guy who liked to work the big part of the field, you were on that fastball middle away. Now that slider looked like a heater for about 56 feet, 6 inches. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. A solo shot here to left. Fourth home run here in the early going. As they get on the board first, it's one to nothing. Hey, I know we're not sitting up here with a crystal ball, but that swing right there, although in the middle innings, could be... Ready to go for the last half of the Here inning. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Aaron Whitefield, to third. He's got it. Now he'll fake a throw to second and look to first instead. And a good throw gets him one gun. And stepping in, Trey Cabbage comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Hit softly on the ground to third. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Next up is Jack Savage. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Now the 1-0. Hot shot on the ground is short. Come on, run it Throw on the first, gets him, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the year. Tonight's game comes to an end. 5-1 to one, the final score. Wichita used a three-run seven to help propel them to the win. Ray Aguero claims the win out of the pen, his first. Adrian Rubin hammers down the five-out save, his third of the campaign. No errors. They left eight men on base. Welcome into this presentation of Minor League Baseball from the AA Central. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Frisco Rough Riders and the Wichita Wind Surge. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Edward Kalina is on the mound for game two. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, one of the things this guy does really well neutralize the left-handed hitters on the season lefties are hitting under 250 against this guy so whatever he's doing against lefties it certainly works
Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, one, no and they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Stay high. Here you go. Ground ball to third, and they could get two. One there. Relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. One out, base is empty, and that'll that bring Williams Ostadio in the bat. Rounded down the third baseline. On to first, and there were two down. Now to the plate, Trey Cabbage grounded out in his last at bat. Here's the 1 1. Pitch popped up. Savage has got it, and the side is retired. So one run on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. The third base. Oh, big guy. Stepping in next, Jack Savage. Savage. First pitch on its way. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all of his pitches. One ball, one strike to count. 1-1. One, one. Line toward the gap in left center. And he's going to make the play over toward his right, and there are two away now. Now at the plate, Jack Savage trying to bring in the tying run from third here. Hey, let it fly. Here's the first pitch. Nope. And ball 1-0. Hey, this pitcher's going to have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath, something. Can't keep falling behind and creating traffic. Puts everybody on edge, not only himself, his defense, and especially his manager. Ready with the 2-0 pitch. Grounded to third. This could be two. Fielded cleanly. There's one. On the first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the... Digging in will be Jack Savage. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. He'll get back in safely. First pitch of the A.B. now. Gets inside the throw. Throw down to second. Here is by him and into center field. Get out, get out, get out. And they hey, won't get him as he's there. able to advance from first to third on what would certainly be scored a throwing error. Now the one and one pitch. A ball and two strikes now. This is a situation where you're going strictly for the strikeout. Infield in, and from the offensive standpoint, you're just trying to create hard contact and get it by that infield. Slow roller out to short, and there's out number two. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. Cesar Mora claims the win out of the pen, his first. Roel Ramirez. Wraps it up for the save, his 10. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show tonight. It's a compelling matchup of two division leaders between the Frisco Rough Riders and the... We've got baseball on the show. Andres Molina, the main native, gets the starting assignment here. What do we need to know here, Danny? 
Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high-scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub-3, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good that performance out of him in this one. Third base. Yeah. Seven. He's set now the pitch. Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center. Helen arranged to his left as he tracks On the this back, one down the ball, in left center the for the first down. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. So runners in scoring position. And here is Jack Savage looking to put them ahead early. He's set and the pitch. And oh, look out as that pitch ran in and got him. And that's going to force in a run. Next to dig in, Brett Cumberland struck out in his first at bat. And he can't allow the same thing to happen in this situation. This is a big time spot in this game. He's got to find a way to put the ball in play. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And it's a sack line in RBI. It's now a 2-0 game. Always productive to score runs when you can. And that sacrifice fly right there drives home the second run of the inning. The 1-2 pitch. It's a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Wow, that's awfully impressive right there. The pitch before was really close. Call the ball. What does he do? He comes back with a better pitch and gets the punch out. Now batting. At the plate now yeah. is Jax Biggers. Yeah. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two yeah, home. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. Throw is in time, and they're able to avoid the huge inning here. As this... Next to stand in is Jack Savage. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. Yeah, Maddie, you're not lying. Last time up, square right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. Line drive to left. Helen gets there for the catch, and that ends the inning. So stepping in is Jack Savage. He's got an RBI despite an 0-2 effort to this point. 0-1. Swing and a miss that time. Strike one. Hit on the ground to third. Come on, run it out, run it out. And that's the second out. Yeah, in this game, you always try to find a way to be hopeful. They win the first game of the new month and are now looking to keep it rolling the rest of the way. 5-2. Help me. A1, I ain't talking steak sauce. Run this now when I'm a great boss. Run this it ain't for the weight loss. Matter of fact, trying to be the cake boss. Fill up It's easy to forget sometimes how challenging it, it is right for Got any prospect to make it all the way to the major right leagues. There. Sean Casey is with me today. Like Casey, up. what are some of the challenges that fans might not understand from the outside? Well, it's funny. When I talk to players that are just getting their pro ball and haven't played 12 years in the big leagues myself, I always say, how come 90-some percent of minor leaguers don't play a day in the big leagues, right? And how come, how, how why is it so hard? And I always say, listen, shower me with love already bathing in drip. <laughs> this ain't a skip, blue chip on the mission, finna dip, pole position low. Been a long time coming. Haters gonna be part-time loving. Haters been a long time running. It don't matter, they ain't catching up in Welcome to MLB The Show and this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight, a battle of... Jason Barr, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. He's out! You're out! Full four, take your base! Three! Now at the plate, here is Jack Savage. He drove in the other of their two runs last night. Fastball on the first pitch, and it's taken for strike one. Fellows are visiting team as they take the field after a scoreless top half. They're on a great run of late as they come in winners of seven of their last nine games. 
Yeah, Maddie. Dan, this team is playing Patrick well. They're getting Owen closer too. in the division race. I, I guess my question to you, I, I want to ask you, did you find that you started to really pitch better as the summer months started to get hotter? No doubt about it. Not only does this team start feeling better, but I think you get a good vibe starting to go throughout the clubhouse. You realize that the, the schedule is trying to... So now here is Aaron Klobov looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. Astudillo on second. McCarthy on at first with nobody out. Down the third baseline. Oh, look at the dive. Step on the bag for one. He gathers the throw. Plays like that right there. That's why you love playing the hot corner. Nope. Next to hit is Jack Savage, struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he failed to pull the bat off his shoulder in that one, Matt. He's down on three pitches, pretty much a wasted A.B. This has to be a better effort. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. And he will make the play. Two away now. That'll bring in Williams Ostadio. He's got hits in both of his at bats so far in this one. A swing and a ground ball to third. Reined in. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. One hit, one left. Leading off the inning, it'll be Savage, and they could use a spark from him here. Down by one. I'm interested to see how they approach this as an offense, especially if they get someone on base early in the inning. Some teams, you know, round it, round it, round it. This is trouble down that right field line. This should be extra bases, and he'll get in at second base as the time runs aboard with a leadoff double. So the next to bat will be Cal Raleigh. The base knocked to the outfield could score the tying run from second. The 1-1. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Velasquez is there and he's got it for the first out. Now to the plate here is Charles LeBlanc trying here to plate the tying run from second. Hit on the ground out for short. Come on, get out, get out, get out. Third, and a good decision on the throw as he is meet at third base. Next, it'll be Jack Savage. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to save it. Beat it out, beat it out, beat it out. Gets him, two down. Big at bat now, and here is Williams Ostadio. And a chance they walk him here to set up a double play that would keep the game tied. Here's the 2 2 pitch. Now a ball hits sharply toward third. A quick glove in third, and there are two gone. And now in the box, Jack Savage. He bounced out last time up. Go. Here's the first pitch to him. Line to left. Ah, and they're going to get one back and maybe both as this is down for extra bases. And he makes it there with a double. He didn't fool anybody there because he was waiting on that curveball all the way. Stays back and lets it break right over the heart of the plate. Gives it a ride and drives in a run. Nice piece of hitting right there. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. Struck him out. So a great job of working out of certain danger as he strands the possible tying and winning runs on base. And the ball game is over. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. Adrian Urban claims the win out of the pen, his first. Ray Aguero hammers down the save, his first of the year. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshow.com. For the Rough Riders, two runs on four hits, no errors. They left ten men on base. Game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on. Daniel Camarena, the southpaw out of the Golden State, gets the call here.
Dan, any thoughts? Hey, man, he'd be a little bit of a mixed bag with this guy. An ERA of over four in his last three starts. He's either been really good or really bad. And recently, he's been more bad than good. It'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around and pitch better in this one here today. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Fleming, base runner at first with one out. On its tailor made to short, six, four, three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. So next to bat will be Jack Savage. Now a throw over, and just manages to get his hand in. And now the first pitch. Base hit, line drive into the corner. You're going, you're going, you're and going. This will get all the way to the wall now. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. He wasn't letting that one go. Jumped on the first pitch right there and drove it into the outfield for a base now hit. The catcher. Next to yeah. hit, Cal Raleigh comes Ooh, into this yeah. at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Popped him Find up. It. Okay, halfway, halfway. Javier has a play. He's got it one away. So next to hit is Charles LeBlanc. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, and I know you want to lace a line drive or hit a potential home run. But I'll tell you what, grab the cheap ribby when it's there. Give me a ground ball middle of the diamond and steal a run. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Charles LeBlanc becomes out number two this inning. Here's a weekly hit fly ball off to the left side. Javier is there, and he puts this one away for the third. Into the box. Savage he doubled earlier in the game. One for two to this point. They get your pitch. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well-executed fastball down and away, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. A pause. And the 0-2. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Dig, 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 dig! Helen will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. So the lineup flips over and digging yeah, in, yeah, Joe yeah. Helland. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. 1-1. One, one. Hit hard on the ground to third. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Trey Cabbage. Flew out last time up. Here comes the 1-2. Bouncer to the left side. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. And this will go down as a knee. Ready now is Savage. He flew out in his last day beating. First pitch on its way. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Flaba is there now, and he has it to gone. Stepping up is Juan Villafuerte, grounded out in his last at-bat. From the belt, kicks and deals. Line drive to left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. In to score is the runner from third. It's now 3-1. to one. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one, the final. Wendy Peralta claims the win out of the pen, his first. Melvin Adone earns the save out of the bullpen, his second. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Fleezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Welcome into this presentation of Minor League Baseball from the AA Central. Tonight we wrap up this three-game weekend series between the Wichita Windsor and the Frisco Rough Riders. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. Rough Rider.
Jack Savage starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Well, Matty, you're looking for innings out of your starting pitcher. You're looking at the right guy. This guy seems to deliver more often than not going deep into the he games. He's one of those guys ball. you feel really like confident that could go into that Bobby seventh, Rowe. eighth, and even the ninth like inning. A workhorse. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair yeah, ball. Yeah, 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 he yeah. takes the turn and heads for second. Hold it right there. Hold it. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. If that's any indication, I think we're going to see some aggressive at-bats in this one. Take the first pitch of the game? No way. He squared it up and winds up on second base after a nice line drive. Great opportunity to get on the board right out of the blocks. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Catch made here in shallow right. Probably too shallow to advance. The tag, and he is out at third base. It's a double play. Next, it'll be Michael Malaska, who's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. One ball, no strikes to count. A ball and a strike. One and one. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. And here's a fastball, not close, as he runs it to two and one now. All even now, two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Straight three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Second inning set to go. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Trey Cabbage. Hey, Matty, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Got to stay on top of what you're trying to do out there and execute pitches. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. Fouled away. Again, a one-two. Just ball, off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one-two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to Five. even. Five. And it's a fly out to start the second one away. So now to the plate, Wander Javier. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Inside with the fastball, it's 1 0. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2 0 now. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher to just go ahead and challenge him. The 2-1 home is looked at for ball three. three. Hey, we got one out right here. Back up the middle. And in the center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. Hey. Nick Polito comes on with one gun here as he looks at a called strike one. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Kick back up the middle. He's got it to second for one on the first. And that's two innings and two double plays they've hit into so far as the end. Striding in is Andrew Bechtold. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. And the third inning begins with a changeup that misses. It's a ball and no strikes. A ball and a strike. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Two and two the count. Strike this guy out. Now here it comes. 
And he fouls this one off. The 2 2 one more time. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Next up, Aaron Whitefield. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Oh. Two and oh now. Here's the pitch. Hit softly on the ground to first. Scooped up, and they'll just tag him out along the first base line. Digging in, the switch hitter, Joe Helen, took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Bases are empty here with two men out. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Rough Riders lead it three to nothing. New inning set to get underway, and set to go is the second baseman, Fabio Velasquez. Line hard to the left side. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right Ooh, here. Hold his front shoulder and everything went with it. And the pitch misses low and away for the ball two. And one. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. He'll put it away without much trouble, and the leadoff man is retired here in the fourth. Striding forward now is the DH, Kiani Cavaco. Now that's popped up. Rosado in foul ground. He's got it, and there are two down now. Digging in next, Michael Malaska. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. And he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. Fouled off. Two out, nobody on. And this one's up around the eyes. Two and one. One strike. And a fastball in the dirt one that's strike. taken for a ball. A three and one pitch. And that one's taken outside for a ball. He walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Now batting. First pitch on its way. Trey Cabbage will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. That's lifted the other way out to left. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. So they pick up no run. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And stepping up as the shortstop, Wander Javier. Playing tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. Swing and a miss, one and one. One and one. The pitch. That's ball Fastball, close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. Up, up. Popped up. Slattery moving to his left, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. And now here is Nick Polito. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. That's a ball. Now the 1-0. Misses, ball two. One out, nobody on. Line to the right side. But a foul ball, and it's two and one now. Into the windup and the pitch. To two and two now. Two balls, two strikes. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Into the windup, here comes the two two pitch. Out in 
front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Hey, we got one out here. Now he did well to get a piece that time, and it'll stay two and two. Hit hard on the ground to short. And a base hit as that's into left, and they've got themselves a base load. Hey, guys, that fires me up right there. He stuck his nose in there, grinded out a 10-pitch A-B, and delivers the knock. That was fun to watch. Now that At the plate now, reason. Andrew Bechtold. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's set. Here's the 0-1. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Two, 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 two. Ramirez is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Up next, Aaron Whitefield. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. 1 and 0 the count from the belt. Kicks and deals. I got one ball, one strike. Still the ball and two strikes. Polito leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. The 2 2 one more time. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. Uh, well, leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. So no runs on a hit here, no error. Now it'll be Joe Helen. And through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game, but this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. And here's a ball hit in the air. And that's going to land foul. Again, another foul ball. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Joe Helen becomes the first out of the inning. Now the pitch. Bounce to first. Fielded cleanly. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Next will be the designated hitter, Kiani Kavako. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Hey, this guy's done a better job than expected. He's made some bad pitches in the strike zone, but so far he hasn't gotten hurt by him. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ani pops it up. Rosado has room in foul territory, but this will land untouched. Right it's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right yep. in his wheelhouse. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Fastball. Whoa, yeah, look out. That just about strikes. got him in the coconut. Wow, fastball up and in. I'm not sure it was intended to be that far oh, up oh, and that oh, far oh. in, but message sent. Beware. My goodness, up and in. Very dangerous that time as he dives to the ground. It's ball four. Well, they've been unable to get to this guy, so they'll take base runners any way they can get him. At the very least, you make him work from the stretch and add no to his bad. pitch total. First delivery to him. Lifted down the line and left. Two out with the man at first. And it's fouled away. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive two, early two, two. on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, and the out. throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Your Paul attention, Kyler is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number five, Paul Kyler. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. Nothing finished tonight. Frisco posted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Jack Savage gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Jesus Lebronzo was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss.
So that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Baskers.